So that said, that I want to kind of talk about this piece of it that I, that I think we can struggle with. I think our listeners will definitely benefit from talking about being optimistic or having optimism and what the differences are and how that plays optimism versus pessimism and why that's really relevant, I think, from cultivating a, a stronger mindset. Optimism is deemed to be good. Pessimism is deemed to be bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so in, in some of the work that I do, we look at people's natural charge. Some people have what we call a positive polarity and nature put this into them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And their positive polarity. These are the people who see what's working first. They are generally deemed to be optimists, but they really aren't. They just see what's working first. And then we have people who see what's not working first. And they're generally deemed to be, um, you know, they have a negative charge. And, and once again, positive and negative is not good or bad. It's this is what nature poured into you. This is right. how you view the world. And so if, if you tend to see what's not working first, you're deemed um, a negative or, or a pessimist. And it's like, no, you just have a predisposed ability to see what's not working. <laughs> Now, if you throw judgment in there, that's an altogether different conversation again. And so where I've, I've landed is, you know, recognizing that people have a certain charge that nature put into. And, and there, there's the one in the middle uh, where if you're neutrally charged, uh, you, you, you tend to see both simultaneously. You'll eventually land on which side or the other, you, you know, have, but people look at you as being indifferent as not being a decision maker because you can see them both at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so I, I give all that as backdrop uh, to say that from where I'm coming from right now, if we're talking about um, uh, abundance, we're talking about an ascent mindset, we're talking about bringing, attracting more of what you want into your life and having less of what you don't want, where does that really fall? And where I'm landing right now, I'm transitioning from optimism to pessimism to gratitude. Mm. It's like gratitude now, I believe, is the gateway to abundance. All right. Uh, and, and for our listeners, I'm going to go off on, on the deep end a little bit here. And tr trust me that this is... This is not junk science or mysticism. There, there's a lot of um, actual neurological science to support this. And we might have to cover that in another conversation. But mm. the issue when it comes to, when we start talking about the law of attraction, and you know, we can take that to like the, the prayer of Jabez for, for our, our, our um, faith folks, where you're saying, you know, I want more abundance, all right? Uh, in, enlarge my territory was the prayer of Jabez. We can talk about Old or New Testament where you say when you pray and you believe, you know, it shall be done. And a lot of us have prayed and a lot of us thought we believed, but it wasn't done. <laughs> OK, so so, you, you know, the issue becomes what, what happened? What happened there? And, and what I am beginning to really understand, appreciate and embrace is what happened was this lack of gratitude and mm. how the gratitude piece actually begins to affect mindset. And mm. I'll give you an example, um, you know, how when we start languaging just differently, because we're using the word optimism, you start languaging a little, little you, you know, it's one thing to say, I hope, you, you know, to, tomorrow is better than today. All right, that, 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 that's, that's optimism, right? Okay. But then you say, well, I hope to get out of debt. And it's like, well, hold on, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. That, that, that's, that's optimism as well. But if I say I hope to get out of debt and not have debt for the rest of my life, then what I'm really saying under the category of words have meaning is that debt's going to be a part of my life. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe what I really want is uh, to uh, have so much financial freedom and independence that I'm unconcerned about day-to-day -day expenses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Yep. 
and so now when I started reframing and rethinking that that whole process, I, I come back and it's like, okay, well, if that's what I'm committing to the universe, if that's what I want, and if gratitude's the gateway to that, then maybe today I might need to do something as simple as, you know, I'm grateful for the opportunity to be on the Ascent platform to share this with everybody. You know, I, I didn't know this time last year that this opportunity was going to be in front of me. I didn't know that you were going to take this mission to put this kind of information out to everybody. And it's like, oh, my goodness, I'm, I'm lucky. I'm blessed. It was fortuitous. You can say whatever you want to say to be here to even talk about this today. And I can start there and having that as my mindset going forward actually creates pathways in my brain to attract more of it. 